Having McDonald's shut doesn't actually impact on my life at all. I possibly have it probably once a month, the same with the kids. It's just a quick, quick treat if we're really in a rush. However, we're now in March 2020. Everyone will remember this month this year for one simple reason, coronavirus. So we've got more time, most people are working from home, and we've got more food because everybody's bought by our board. So therefore, let's get back to wholesome, nutritious food. That's why we're making McDaddy's burgers, and it's really, really simple. I'm gonna use sweet potatoes, a few spices and a, a pepper, got some ground beef, some mince, and we're gonna make some really healthy, nutritious McDonald's alternative. Hands are washed and dry, surfaces are prepared and thoroughly cleaned down. First thing I'm going to do is take the sweet potatoes. Now, we're not going to try cooking, we're just going to soften them up in the microwave. So we're going to put them in for about three or four minutes. What that does is just makes them easy to work with and easy to take the skin off. Okay, once they're done, just test them, see if they've gone slightly soft on the outside, which is perfect. They're going to be really warm, so just set them to one side and then let's get all the burger ingredients ready. Once again, make sure your surfaces and your hands are nice and clean. Now, we've pre-cut up the pepper, we've added some chili flakes, and we're gonna have some thyme, but you can pretty much use any ingredients that you want. It's all up to you what flavors you want to add, just because you just wanna spice it up a bit. So take your mince, and place it in a bowl, Nice clean bowl. Add the ingredients. And then just, just work it in a little bit. Okay, making sure it's all nice and in the mix. Remember these are nice and healthy. So the idea is you can pretty much add whatever you want. Because you want to make sure they're nutritious and they taste healthy. You will never go back to old style burgers once you've made your own burgers. Now, you might think it's a bit of a faff, but let's face it, you're at home. What else have you got to do? Okay, put it down on your board. Now, space it out, flatten it out. Take a cutter. And just cut out however many burgers you want. Again, I've washed my hands, Get some, only because I'm touching the one cal spray, get some one cal spray, spray it on a base. You can use olive oil, you can use pretty much whatever you want to be fair. Take your burgers, and just set them down there. You can see it's just as strong as little piece of uh, mince. I've got quite a lot, so I can make six to eight burgers with this. The burgers have been set to one side. These are nice and cool, cool air now. So, all the surfaces have been cleaned down, we've washed our hands. So just score the potato, and as you can see, the skin pretty much just peels off. So it makes your life so much easier. Yeah, it's still quite stiff and workable. So just peel all the skin off the potatoes and come back. Now you've removed all the skin, you can now start to make the fries. We're going to make sweet potato fries. So just cut slices. Nice, you know, even slices. So as you can see, nice and soft, so they're easy to work with. So you can cut them into fries. They're still easy to work with, as you can see, and then I'll just do the rest of them. Sweet potato fries are done. Now you can use olive oil or I just use some one, one cow. Then some nice thick rock salt. Then about 200 degrees. Put those in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until they're nice and crispy and golden brown like a McDaddy's fry should be. Take your burgers, exactly the same. We're going to grill these, and you can bake them, but we're going to grill these, put them in there on a high heat, 
And again, just look at them and turn them when necessary, when they're going nice and golden brown. And then we've got one more thing to do. It's with the potato again. Why? Well, we'll show you why shortly. We put that in the microwave again for about three, four minutes. Now, one of the beauties of sweet potato is it's really easy to work with. So once you've got it nice and soft, we're actually going to make the burgers out of this. As you can see, I've made the burger ones there. You can obviously just use bread as most people would, but I want to make these healthy as possible. Now, sweet potato goes nice and soft. So what you can actually do, you can see this is quite warm, if I let this cool down a little bit more than I am, is again, put it in your masher. Just make the shape exactly the same size as your burger. See, it's the same construction, same size, everything. Then put them on your tray. Again, with a bit of one cal, just so they don't stick. And then we're going to grill those with the burgers, just to crisp them up a little bit more. Then put them on your tray. Again, with a bit of one cal, just so they don't stick. And then we're going to grill those with the burgers, just to crisp them crisp up a little bit more. Fast food this is, but I think we are about ready. So, the burger buns should be going nice and golden brown and crispy on top. Your burgers, they're nice and brown and sizzling away. And your sweet potato french fries are gone. They will, because the triangle at the end are a bit darker, but these are, believe me when I tell you, these are delicious. However, it's all in the presentation. So, like any great fast food chain, you've got to put it in a box. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We're not missing it. McDaddy's Burgers drive through.